Hey guys, this is Koladi, your professional graphics designer. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how you can design a beautiful and an amazing body flyer. But before diving into this video, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to smash on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get notified on when I upload new and amazing video. And as for the returning viewers, thank you, I really appreciate it. So, like I said earlier, I will be teaching you guys how to design a beautiful and an amazing body flyer. In designing this body flyer, I will be using some resources. You can find the download link to these resources in the video description. So, in designing the body flyer, the first thing I will be doing is that I will be importing the background for this body flyer. I will be importing it from my, from, from my gallery. So this is the background. Looking at this background, you can see the background is not as big as the as the interface of the design. So what I will just do is that I will increase the size using the relative size button. This is the relative size button where I am pointing the arrow. So I will click on the relative size button. Then I will disable this. I will disable this. So after disabling that, I will click, I will increase the widget size and the height size. So looking at this now, you can see the background is now as full as the interface of the design I want to design. So the next thing I will do now is that I will log this to my screen interface to prevent the background from moving around when I'm moving other resources. So the next thing I will do now is that I will import another resources. So this is another resources. So I will increase it, just like just like I've increased the background. I will increase this. Then after increasing that, I will change the color to the color I'm using for the for the design. Then log this to my screen interface. I will import another resources. So this is a splash effect. So this, in this large veil is where I will be putting the Sally Brand image. So to do that, I will move down to texture, this texture. So after clicking on texture, you click on this. Then you will be taken to your gallery. Then you locate the image of the Sally Brand. Let me locate the image of the Sally Brand. You locate the image of the celebrant from any folder you want to you want to select the image of the celebrant. So this is the celebrant. Looking at this now, you can see the celebrant image is not in the middle of the slash effect. But to do that, what you just have to do is that you enable this maintain with you. You enable this. So you may enable this. After I enable that. After enabling the maintain ratio, you can see the the image of the celebrant is now in the middle of the splash effect. So let me reduce this a little bit and move it to the middle of the design. So I will log this to my screen database. So to import another resources. So I will import another resources. This is another resources that I will be using. I will also change the color for this. But this resources, I want it to be true on the design. So instead of importing the resources again to avoid wasting of time, what I will just have to do is that I will copy this. After copying it, you can see it has it has become two. So I will move the other one here. So I have to do the next thing. So after that, the next thing I will be doing now is that I will be I will be creating the test. So I will move to the test button to create the test. The test is happy. So the, after creating the test, I will move to font. To change it to my 110 font. The font I will be using for this is taken by Future. You can find the download link to all the font I will be using in this by the flyer 
in the video description as well. So I will increase the size. After increasing the size, you can see the H is not fully showing. So to do that now, I will click on Pardon. Pardon. Where I am pointing the arrow. So after clicking on Pardon, you can see both the left pardon and the right pardon is on the is on the is on the zero. So if I want to pad a test from the left hand side, I will use the left pardon button. If it is from the right hand side, I will use the right pardon button. But I'm padding from the left hand side now, so I will increase the, the size from the left for the left padding. So after increasing the size, you can see the RP is now is now fully showing. The H is now fully showing. So I will change the color to the color I'm using. I will change the color. So I want to place it here. But looking at this now, you can see now that it won't make sense if I should place the same color on each another because the the thing will not be the app will not be showing completely. So what you, what I will just have to do now is that I will copy this, then I will change this to white. I will change this app to white. Then I will I will mask the former happy, which is the which is in the color I'm using. So I will mask it using the mask button. I will mask it using this button. So I will click on mask button to mask the test. So I will mask it and match the two tests together. Then I will match the two tests together. I will match the two tests together. So I'm going to place this. I'm going to place it here like this. So I will create another test, which is the by day. So the by day. Day. Then I will change the font to my wanted font. The font I'm using for this is Justice League. Justice League. I will I will increase the size. Change the color. I will change the color. So I will do just like I've done for Happy. I will copy this, change the color to white, and ma mask it and merge it together. So I will copy this. Change the color to white. I will change the color to white, so I will mask this one. Then I will match it together. And I will place it here. So the next thing I'll be doing now is I'll be importing another resources from my gallery. I will reduce the size, then change the color. I will change the color to the wanted color I'm using. I will log this to my screen interviews as well. So I will import another resources. This arrow. I will reduce the size. Then change the color to white. I will change the color to white. I'm going to place it here. So I will create another test for the celebrant. I will create another test for the celebrant name. I will change the color of the celebrant name to white. I will also change the font to the, to the one third font I will use. I'm using Bugalo regular. 
this is a pixel app font so you can find this font in pixel app so i will change the font so i will bring it here i will place the name here let me increase the size of the name so i will place the name i will place this elephant name here so the next thing i will be doing now is that let me increase the size of this a little bit let me place it in the middle so the next thing i will be doing now is that i will create a circle i will move to shape then select the circle shape I will change the color to the color I'm using then I will place it here so the next thing I will be doing now is I will move to shadow I will move to I will move to shadow I will give it shadow after giving it shadow I will move to inner shadow then give it inner shadow I will I will give it white inner shadow then after giving it white inner shadow what I want to use this circle for is that I will be placing the by day month of the celebrant and the by day date. I will be placing it on the circle. So I will create I will create another test for the by day month. January. Let's just assume this is a fictional design. So I will just assume this is 30. I will change the color to white. And I will also change the font. I'll be using Bugalo regular for the font. Then I will I will move it. I will put I will place it on the circle. Let me just increase the size a little bit. But since I'm creating the same, since I'm creating the date with the same font and the same size and i'm using the same color for the font just like i've used for january i will just copy this and edit it into 30 into 30. so i will just place it here so this is how you can design a beautiful and an amazing birthday flyer for your either for your loved ones for your client as a graphic designer or for any or for your relatives so this is how you can design a beautiful and an amazing birthday flyer so if you want to save your your project you click on this you click on save as image always save your project as png and the dimension as ultra so as to get a quality and a high standard resolution design so you save it to your gallery like that so always be mindful of how you save your project save it as png and save it as ultra for dimension so always be mindful of how you save your project so it has been saved to my gallery so that is how you can design a beautiful and an amazing body flyer Thanks for watching.